Hi, I'm Opulent K, and I'm an necrophiliac. Hi, I'm Shelby and Raymond 2.0, and I'm a witch. A bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, mm -hmm. something, one of those. <laughs> My Immortal by Tara Gillespie, a dramatic reading. Chapter 18, <laughs> author's note. I said stop flaming. <laughs> if you do, then you're a fucking prep. Thanks to Raven for the help and stuff. You rock. And you're not a prep. What did Raven help with? <laughs> so Raven's spell. not spell checking this anymore. Thanks for the, my suitor. Your suitor. The utter isn't Dumbledore's word is because he trying to be gothic so they're six, six, six. I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it. She walked out of her coffin. Yes, we all walked out of her uh, coffin. I, is she sleeping standing up? Yes. <laughs> okay. It has like an entrance door <laughs> thing that just springs open. Of course. Well, how? That's how else. Okay. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is she doing night classes at Hogwarts? Because <laughs> she hasn't really addressed the sun thing with her being a vampire. Well, who knows? No. She's an idiot. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner, black mm -hmm. eyeshadow, blood red lipstick, and a black really cut, low cut leather dress that was all ripped in, in stripes so you could see my belly. <laughs> I love it when you can see the belly. Does she have a sex pack like Draco? I hope she does. <laughs> she probably does. She's wearing this. <laughs> I was wearing a skull belly ring with black and red diamonds inside it. Ooh, sexy. The night before Draco and I went back to the skull, get it? Skull, because I'm gothic and I like death. What? <laughs> skull instead of school. Oh. Dumbledore chased Voldemort away. We flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. The broom stuff. The broom Not stuff. the bristles. No. <laughs> the broom stuff. God forbid she had the word bristle. <laughs> there was lace all over it. Where's the lace on the broom? <laughs> God knows. Draco had a black NCR broom. We went, we went back to our rooms. Why was we, it an MCR? Was it like wrapped in? It just said MCR on it. Just sketch of it. Just sketch of it. Draco had a black MCR broom. We went back to our rooms. We had a you know what to a Lincoln Park song. What did they have? <laughs> well, anyway, I went back down to the Great Hall. You okay? She went to the Great Hall. It's great, like she's a cheese grater. There, all the walls were painted black, and the tables were black too. Why? But you fool, you fooled see that there was pink paint underneath the black paint. What? And there were pastors of poser bands everywhere. There were what? Pastors. Pastors. Of poser bands of poser everywhere. Bands. Not posters. Pastors. Pastors. Like Ashley Simpson in the Backstreet Boys. This is so 2006. The BTF I shouted, going to sit next to Baluti Mary and Willow. Baluti and Mary was wearing a black leather mini with a good Charlotte t-shirt, black fishnets, and black pointy boots. Willow was wearing a long gothic black dress with blood red vampire writing that was all lacy and came out to your thighs and black boots and fishnets. Vampire Dracula and Draco came. I they do. <laughs> Why does Draco not have a different name? Who knows? We started to talk about who was sexier, Mikey or Gerard Way or Billy Joe Armstrong. The boys joined in because they were all bi. Aren't those... we all? <laughs> yeah. Those guys are so fucking hot. Mabel was saying as suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. Why is she calling him Mabel? <laughs> Dracula. Dracula. His preferred name is Dracula. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. He was the same one who had chased away Voldemort yesterday. He had normal tan skin, but he was wearing white foundation. Okay, and he had Dumbledore? dyed his hair black. Didn't we already know this was Dumbledore? Dumbledore? We all guessed. <laughs> WTF, I shouted angrily. I, I thought he was just wearing that to scare Voldemort. What? Hello, everyone, he said happily. As you can see, I gave the room a makeover. What just do you think about it? Everyone from the poser table in Gryffindor stared, started to cheer. Well, the goths just looked at each other all disgusted and shook our heads. 
We couldn't believe what a poser he was. One. BTW, you can call me Albert. He called as they left to our classes. Is he Albert now? Albert Dumbledore? <laughs> Albert Dumbledore. The Albert, Albert Dumbledore. Dumbledore. What a fucking poser, Draco shouted angrily as we went to transformation. We were holding hands. Vampire looked really jealous. I could see him crying blood in a gothic way. Get it? Way? Like Gerard? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I bet he's having a midlife crisis, Willow shouted. I was so fucking angry. Chapter 19. I'm not okay, I promise. Because I'm making this fan picture. She's nut, okay. <laughs> 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 Did you just throw that into your cup? Yes! <laughs> Do a shot. Shot. Author's note. Please stop flaming the story. If you do, you're a fucking prat in okay. your jalous, okay. Broom, knock on, I'm gong to dealt your men, Rilla Voisy. BTW, Ivana D, a poor blood, so there. Things to Raven from the help. All day we sat angrily thinking about Dumbledore. We were so fucking pissed off. Well, I had one thing to look forward to. The MCR concert, again, for the third time. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen. It had been postponed, so we could all go. <laughs> postponed, <laughs> you know, the common English word, postponed. When you phone someone after the fact. Yes, postponed. Anyway, I went to the common room, sadly, to cut classes. Draco was being all secretive. I asked what it was, and he got all mad at me and started crying, all hot and angsty. Aren't sensitive, by guys, so hot. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. better. No one fucking understands me, he shouted angrily as his black hair, H-A-R-E, his black hair. His black rabbit? Mm-hmm, his black rabbit went in his big blue eyes like Billy Joe in Boulevard of Orkin Dreams. Orkin? Are you working that, cheese whiz? Are you working it? I'm fat, bitch. Leave me alone. <laughs> he was wearing black baggy pants, a black MCR t-shirt, and a black dye. Get it? Instead of tie, toes are so weak. I was wearing a block, leather, low cut top with chains all over it, a block leather mini, block high held boots, and a cross belly thing. My hair was all up in a messy rally high bun, like Amy Lee, in gong up under. Email me if you want to see the pig. <laughs> Accuse me. What about me? I growled. Bye, but but he grunted. You fucking bastard! I moaned. No, wait. It's not what it fucking looks like. He shouted. But it was too late. I knew what I heard. I ran to the bathroom, angrily crying. <laughs> <laughs> Draco banged on the door. I whipped and wept as my bloody eyeliner streamed down my cheeks and made cool tears down my feces like Benji in the video for girls and boys. Raven, that is so our video. I took out a cigarette and started to smoke pot. From a cigarette. Some from a cigarette in the bathroom. Suddenly, our grid came. He had appeared it. You gave me a fucking shock, I shouted angrily, dropping my pot. WTF do you think you're doing in the girls' room? Only it wasn't just our grid. Someone else was with him, too. For a second, I wanted it to be Tom Ridd, or maybe Draco, but it was Dumbledore. Oh, no. Hey. I need to ask you a question, he said. 
pulling out his black wannabe gothy purse. What are you wearing to the concert? You know who MCR are? I gasped. No, I just saw there was a concert that a lot of goths and punks were going to, he said. Anyway, Draco has a surprise for you. Oh, God.